got a great guest in studio today talking about some upcoming votes that will be taken here soon from the Pioneer School District. He's a superintendent. We've talked with him before when he first rolled into town. John Gummel, good to see you again. Here. It's good to see you here. And uh, the ballots for the folks in the Pioneer School District, they should have them. They should have them already. I've talked to a couple of our citizens in the area, and they said they have received them. Good, good. Let's go and do a broad kind of overview of the school district, uh, kind of the location of it, the amount of uh, people in the district, and the students, things like that, first off. Sure. So, you know, we, we serve a, a population of the, the Shelton area. Uh, we have about 750 kids. Uh, we have about 7,300 registered voters in our area. So uh, last vote we had, we had a great turnout, uh, and I'm hoping to have the same thing this year. Talk to us what the uh, proposition looks like on the ballot and uh, what those funds would go to. Sure. Uh, so the the amount of the levy is a, a 3.2 approximate 3.2 million dollar levy and we're running it over a three-year time span um, it's going to cost our our citizens about 81 cents per thousand so if you own a hundred fifty thousand dollar house or home uh, it's going to be about t a little over ten dollars a month where you would see an increase and the reason for this, uh, we talked with uh, Sean Baston earlier in the week from Hood Canal Schools, and I, there are some similarities here with yes, what you guys are working there, on. There are. Um, so we, uh, this money's being, this levy's being ran for our portion of, uh, the majority of our, our students, Pioneer students, go to Shelton Schools. So uh, with the $29 million bond, well, excuse me, the $65 million bond that Shelton passed mm -hmm. and the $29 million that were, was dedicated to the high school we owe our kids go there and so we have a, fi a fiscal responsibility to support our students and so uh, this 3.2 represents our fiscal responsibility has it been difficult to kind of explain to the voters in your district uh, about this especially after seeing some of the uh, uh, other votes that were taken in the shelton school district wondering maybe why this wasn't all uh, combined in a sense, or, or do they understand what you're coming from on here? Well, there, there's some confusion. There's, uh, there's some confusion that, you know, one, why do we have to pay? Uh, there's some uh, maybe a little frustration or animosity in that people don't want to pay more taxes, sure. and, and I totally understand that. Uh, you know, my wife and I, are, we're voting for the same thing, and so, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a tough premise to be in uh, but you know I, I keep on going back to what's right for kids and uh, what Shelton is doing in their plan for uh, improvements at the high school will certainly benefit our, our community um, and it you know hopefully they can see past the increased taxes and to look at what's right for kids and what's the benefit that that our kids are going to be getting so if you have 750 kids and you kind of make it an assumption of two uh two voters per household there that's 1500 ish people there but 7300 that's a pretty big difference between the amount of uh people who may not have kids in the district sure. and I've heard over the years that, yeah, these are tough sells for those folks who may have already put kids through the system yes. and things certainly. like that. Certainly it is. Uh, you know, a lot of our retired folks are on fixed incomes. And so, yeah, it, 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 is, a, uh, it is a kind of a push for them. However, you know, I, I look at it, the vast majority of us have gone through the public school system and, and generations before us have, have kind of has helped our, our, my generation out. And as as our responsibility to help this next upcoming generation out so <clears throat> excuse me so <clears throat> so it's uh you know it's it's our responsibility at some point we, we have to support our youth and and if, if we say no to our youth uh you know what are we doing to the next generation mm -hmm. so uh we have to we have to look down the road of of beyond you know yes i'm retired yes i am renting yes i i don't have uh, uh, emotional vest uh, investment into the, our kids. However, uh, if we don't put up for our kids, what is this? What is that telling the next generation? And what happens after that? It becomes a domino effect. And so, uh, I am uh, really hoping that people can see past. I, I, I get the fact that, that that they have limited resources, um, but uh, you know, it, this is for this is for the benefit of kids. 
So when we talk about uh, if the bill, if the if the levy passes here on the twelfth, when the voting is uh, ready to go here, uh, after the levy passes, you'll have your uh, three point two million over the three year spread, and then you can pay off your portion of the Shelton School District. That is correct. What happens if the if it doesn't pass, and then the bill comes due? So there's a, there's a couple options. We one we can renegotiate the 3.2. Uh, that's a, an option. We can look at our time frame of uh, you know it's been suggested to me by many citizens that why are we doing this in three years? If it's a 20 year bond, why are we not paying it over, out over 20 years? Mm -hmm. So and, and those, that's a valid question. Uh, so th there's an option there. Renegotiate what we owe. Uh, we also. Uh, Shelton has the right to take it to a regional committee and then the regional committee can oversee uh, what a final bill would look like and um, and then at that point we would be beholden to whatever the regional committee comes up to and uh, at that time um, we would have uh, uh, two opportunities to pass a levy to pay this bill and if at that time it doesn't happen then Shelton has the right to annex Pioneer School District. We talked with Sean earlier in the week, Batson again from Hood Canal Schools, uh, superintendent there. We kind of were just talking about the independence of the Hood Canal Schools and sure. how it's a, uh, you know, it's its own unique community and it has a lot of uh, in, uh, interests uh, involved with the tribes and things like that over there. Tell me a little bit about the uniqueness of Pioneer and how you could and probably would lose that if down the road you get uh you were to be annexed in to the shelton school district that, that's a great that's a great uh, concern um in my short time here i've been here now six months and in that time it has been uh, uh positively awesome uh in in the in that i have seen a a sense of pioneer pride a, a sense of independence among its 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 community that there is a, a strong love a strong devotion um, for our 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 schools our community um, and uh in our area and uh, there's a, a a great pride in in being kind of independent from other areas um where in that they believe our schools are uh, teaching with the values of our community. Mm -hmm. And so when we get, if we got annexed into other areas or another district, I think we lose some of that um, um, gosh, independence. Yeah. Um, and, and I think, and, and the, the people have made that clear to me that they don't want that. Uh, I haven't, I have not seen anybody, I haven't met anybody that says, yes, I want to be part of it. Everyone I have talked to says, uh, they like our independence. They uh, they want to remain a pioneer school district. Are there is it multi generational in the pioneer school district? <laughs> Absolutely, I mean, it's years it is. after years of people who have gone through and. Absolutely, it is, and and it's and it's generations of voters who have uh, have always supported our schools. So, um, you know, I I have confidence in our community, and and uh, I really hope for the best out of this. So it's coming up February twelfth. So you've got another couple of weeks here. Are you going out and about more into the community and talking with uh, groups and things? Yeah, like that yeah. That? So I, I meet with quite a few groups. Uh, I met with Pickering last night. Uh, I've done Shorecrest and Harstein, and uh, I've done uh, Open at the middle school. I have another one next week. I believe it's on Thursday uh, at six thirty at the middle school. Um, if you want to hear a great orator, come on out and <laughs> you can hear my spiel on, on uh, you know, what this levy is all about. The ballots are in the mail for the folks in the Pioneer School District uh, here and the uh, day election day is February 12th. And uh, John, thanks for coming on, being accessible this early in the morning and getting ready to go here. Is now you're going to go start your day over in the Pioneer School District. It, it's been my pleasure, and it's my pleasure, pleasure to serve our community. So thank you very please much. Please get out and vote. For sure. Thank you.